Hi artists, so we are going to be talking a little bit about one of my favorite artists, Wayne Tebold. He actually just turned 100 years old, so he is still living and he is still making art, which is pretty incredible. He is a painter, he's an American painter, and he loves painting desserts, lots of different sweets. And he uses paint almost like frosting. He creates so much texture that if you were to see one of his paintings in person, you would want to touch it because it was so lifelike and realistic. We're not going to be use the type, using the type of paint he uses today. He uses an oil paint, which has lots of different chemicals, and it's something that I've used before, but it's something that, you know, you have to be a lot older to use. You need lots of ventilation, and it's very fun. But we're going to use our handy-dandy marker and a piece of paper. And I want you to draw your favorite desserts. I'm going to show you a really simple way how to make a cupcake, and I want us to take it to another level. I want this to be the most outrageous, beautiful, decorated cupcake in the world. And we're going to use some basic shapes and some curved lines. So the first thing you're going to do is get your paper. I'm going to hold it horizontally. You can hold it whatever way is comfortable for you. And I'm going to make the bottom part of the cupcake, which is like where the wrapper is. I'm going to make, oops, got to hold my paper, a light curve line. Okay, that's going to show that there's roundness to my cupcake. I'm then going to make a slightly diagonal line. One going out this way and one going out this way. Again, that's going to show that the cupcake gets a little bigger as it, goes, as it rises in the oven. Okay, then I'm going to make a zigzag line across to show the ridges of the paper. To make it look even more real, wherever there's a dip in the zigzag, I'm going to make a vertical line to the bottom. This takes some patience, but if you take your time, it's totally worth it. It looks really cool. So already I have the bottom of my cupcake. Now I want my cupcake to have tons of swirly frosting because that's just really fun to draw and it's really fun to color in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little line here and a little line here to show that the cupcake is kind of peeking over. I'm not doing the whole curve because I'm going to add the icing. Okay. To add the icing, I'm going to make a curve line. And if I'm going too fast, just pause the video, okay, friends? I'm going to make a curve and dip down. And then here, I'm going to make a curve that's up and dip down. And then I'm going to make a curve that goes up and back down. Look at that frosting. It looks so real. So at this point, you can add decorations to it. You can add a little fruit on top. You can add sprinkles, making tiny rectangles. And you can color it in. I can't wait to see these cupcakes, friends. Bye.